battery gate. I think that's what we're calling it. Okay, something is wrong with the batteries in iPhone 14 Pros. Now, as far as battery health, that's one of the main areas this phone seems to have suffered. What is going on with Apple's iPhone 14 Pros? Look, if people are having problem with our batteries, then they can sue us. You'll see them down to nine. Over the last few days, Just what Apple is starting to hear the houses from their time. Something changed. Something is different. Hey y'all, welcome back to Rich Aesthetic. I'm Rich and as you just heard, your iPhone may be having a battery issue. And I'm here to show you how you can avoid these issues, if that's what you wanna call them, in this most simple of ways, right? Now, in a perfect world, Apple would have created a phone that doesn't have these issues, whether it's heat or whatever. Sam Cole did a really good video saying, we're talking about how you know the environment's not only hotter, but also the phone may be running hotter. So with the new thermal uh, management system that Apple put into the iPhone 14, maybe it is really good, but the iPhone is also just running that much hotter. So it was able to keep the temperature closer to like the other phones, like iPhone 13 that ran around, like I think it was 75 to 78 um, degrees Fahrenheit. So it got the iPhone 14 closer down to 80, but that's still not enough to get it down even lower. So who knows what it is, right? So what can we do, right? So if you ever searched as to how to keep your battery alive longer, um, a lot of places out there, they say, charge it when it hits 20 and stop charging at 80, right? So keep it between that 20 to 80% range. So I'm thinking like, okay, but like how many people are throwing their phone on the charger and then checking like, oh shit, it's it's a 78, I gotta take it off in two more percent, right? Or do you just take it off at 78? I feel like there's two kinds of people out there. Those who will try and they'll get it around 80 and then those who need to get it perfect. So yeah, if you wanna know how to easily keep your phone between 20 to 80%, stick around, consider subscribing and tapping that like button and then check out the chapter markers down below because I have two methods. All right, so for method one, you just need your iPhone and then also be running the Apple Shortcuts app. I'm assuming most of you watching this video already have that downloaded, but if you don't, that is a free app developed by Apple, which may already be pre-installed on your phone, or you might just check the App Store for that. Then also a smart plug. Once your smart plug is set up, and if you don't know how to do that, you can check out other videos from other people out there because I'm not gonna go into that, but it just has to be in your Apple Home app. Then go over to your phone and go to Shortcuts and then tap on the Automation tab, which is the bottom middle one there. Then you're gonna hit the plus button up in the top right. You're going to look for the battery automation settings. So we're gonna scroll down a bit here. All right, there it is. And we're gonna go for the charge, uh, sorry, for the battery level, okay, battery level. So tap on that, and then I'm gonna first set up the one that is going to turn on the charger. Yes, you heard that right, turn on the charger. So we're gonna slide down here to the 20%. Now, this is your choice. You can either have it turn on the charger when your phone goes below 20%, or when it equals 20% exactly. So I'm just gonna go with equals for this one. Then one more thing we change is tap on run immediately, so that way you don't have to you know, confirm that you actually want the charger to turn on or not. All right, so now hit next. Now, we're gonna just create a new blank automation. I don't have the shortcut set up for this and it's, it's a one action shortcut. So I'm just going to tap on that and we're going to search for the control and then your home name action. So in my case, that is control, looks like my, battery or sorry keyboards a little behind here so yeah control and then you'll probably see it one of the first ones so my home name is eerie i-r-r-i yours is probably something different obviously and you're gonna go with control eerie so tap on that and once that action's in there you're going to tap on the variable which is the light blue section of the action and now we're just going to choose the name of the smart plug. So in my case, it's called MagSafe Charger. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, by the way, this does not only work with MagSafe. This works with any charger that you have plugged into this smart plug. So if you have like a Belkin Boost wireless or some other, you know, some 12 South Forte stand, whatever um, charger you're using, it works. Just have it plugged into this smart plug. 
So choose MagSafe charger, then hit next. And now you have to choose the state. So this is the one for 20%. So we need the charger to turn on. So tap on it. So now it's changes the state to turn on and then hit done. All right, now we're set. So when the iPhone battery is at 20%, it will turn on the MagSafe charger and that's it. So you just hit to, uh, done in the top right hand corner. And that's the first step done. Now we need the charger to turn off at 80%. The steps are the exact same. Just make sure you have 80% as the trigger and then turning off the MagSafe charger in the shortcut action. So tap the plus button again, scroll down, battery level equals 80%. Awesome, run immediately. Next, new blank automation, add action. Control, Control Eerie, set MagSafe charger. Oh, there we go. Next, and turn off. Super simple, tap done, and done again. So now, my desk charger, which is right here, whenever my phone's at 20%, like I said, this will turn on. And when it's at 80%, it will turn off. You can see that my phone is at 42%. So it's not turned on the charger yet because I haven't hit 20%. So if I put my phone on here, not that you can see it clearly, but it, it's not charging. So that's pretty tight. Let's say you have more than one charger. Well, here's the cool thing. In the shortcut editor, you can add as many control accessory actions as you need. So if you've got two chargers, one at your desk and one at your nightstand, you can have both of them turn on when your phone hits 20% and both of them turn off when your phone hits 80%, all with the same automation and just by adding another action. Super simple. This brings me to method two. You may not have a smart home and may not want or be interested in setting up a smart home. Totally get that. So something to help you, it's not gonna be as convenient, but instead of turning on and off a smart plug, just send yourself a reminder. So when your phone hits 20%, use the reminder action. It'll, hey, it'll say, hey, time to charge your phone. Okay, cool. You can pop your phone onto the charger let it go. And the second automation, right? When your phone hits 80%, it'll send you a reminder saying, hey, take me off of the charger. So if you have a smartwatch or an iPad or a MacBook, you'll get the reminder there everywhere, assuming you're signed into the same Apple ID, and then you can take your phone off the charger. Again, it's not as convenient and it's not truly automatic, but that may be just enough for you to help keep your battery health you know, alive as long as possible. So that's all for me. I hope you got something out of the video, learned something new. Smash that like button if you're gonna do one of these things and leave a comment down below or what are your own strategies for keeping your battery health alive, you know, as long as possible or high as long as possible. Super curious to hear all your thoughts. And then we're almost at 500 subscribers, which is gonna be a huge milestone for me. I've really been enjoying the YouTube channel. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. All right. I'm looking so forward to the iPhone event. That's just in the next day. I will be waking up at 1 a.m. to catch that, living here in Shanghai. And yeah, I'm pumped. All right, until the next one. Rich Aesthetic, out.